Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. So the demo is now out. It's been out for a couple hours now. If you guys were a part of my Facebook stream earlier, you guys seen what I went through. I almost broke my PlayStation because I had to wait 40 minutes to download the demo. I literally pulled my Xbox out of the closet because I heard Xbox users were getting it first. But eventually, after having to update the Xbox and all of that nonsense, I ended up getting a demo on PS4. So um, I don't want to give my impressions on the demo, mainly because the sales squad is going to be getting together to record a video for that. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that on my channel. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys one of the craziest builds this year. Now, of course, if you guys did watch my uh you should make this build video for nba 2k21 I, I dropped it a couple days ago that video is going crazy appreciate all the love on that but that build still stands the test of time the two-way slashing playmaker still will be a good build slashing is still good um dribbling honestly is it's gotten a little bit better mainly because dribble moves aren't as complex as they used to be i'm just being honest you know what i mean if you want to do a between a leg you just flick the stick that way want to do another between the leg flick it the other way if you want to do a crossover flick the stick up it'll go directly to the off ball hand like it's, it's so much new stuff but i don't want to dive too much into that because like i said this is not an impression video this is a build video so let's go ahead and launch nba 2k21 the demo All right, so hopping into the my player builder, I've played with many different builds already. Um, I have two more slots left for this demo on this account. You can only create six players on one account and you can play one game with that build. What I ended up doing was I made a slash and playmaker that was six four. I liked the build a little bit, but I didn't actually play with it inside of the my career portion game. I did make a play making shot creator. I did like that build. Um, I ended up learning how to shoot. It just took me a little bit of um, time to time that uh, new shot meter and the jump shot that I was using, mainly because it's not my jump shot. I made a slashing playmaker and scored 40 plus points on the computer just rim running i didn't do no hard work i just rim ran you know what i'm saying i'll have some of this gameplay come out soon i'll be making probably a build video every day and i'm telling you i got i got gameplay on the shot creator the slash and playmaker and the glass cleaning lockdown that can shoot i got tape on that build too okay I know a lot of people want to know about that build because that was like one of my best build videos from 2K20. So I'm telling you guys, you would probably like that. But let's hop into the My Player Builder, right? Now, you guys already know it's always about the body and the beard for me. Um, I really don't care about the jersey stuff, but I'll just do this for uh, Pete's sake. You know what I mean? Now, check it out. As far as the pies that you can choose, there are some new pies and there's a lot more options that 2k is giving you with these pies and what's happening is people are using pies like these which were from last year to see how their builds will go now if you guys remember last year i used this specific pie to create the scoring machine but if you look over there at that driving dunk the driving dunk ain't it chief that ain't it but they got more pies they got pies like this you know what I'm saying 79 three point shot, 80 driving dunk. They have so many different variations. This is the uh, pie that I use for the slashing playmaker. Um, this is the all shooting pie, of course, that everybody loves. Um, this is the pie for the playmaking shot creator that I ended up using. And this is the pie for the two way slashing playmaker. I'll definitely make a video uh, later down the line about that but the pie that i want to use right now is this pie now i know you guys are probably like bro this pie look terrible it's not about the pie it's about the badges let's go ahead and pick this pie now remember matter of fact let me back up remember that this pie that i chose is above the playmaking shot creator pie okay that's the pie with the even 
of playmaking and shooting okay it's the pie above that please remember that okay now of course everybody knows the physical profile you always want to go with the highest speed we don't pick none of those down there we always pick this pie all right so let me just go ahead and do this real quick you know what i'm saying let me let me just go ahead and do this bro let me just go ahead and do this yep 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 all right so now that we have slashing shooting and playmaking all maxed out we are going to come down and make ourselves a liability all right yes this build only has one defensive badge but on the flip side of that this build has 65 badges 65 badges imagine hitting legend with a build like this all right now if you guys need to do the, do the math or whatever 27 plus 21 plus 16 plus one do the math 65 badges now this is where things get tricky this is somewhat like my scoring machine right everybody knows that you can make these builds a little bit different stuff like that but i'm gonna go compact right now if you do lower of course you can you can be you can be a five seven little demon you know what i'm saying 95 speed and all of that but your slashing ain't gonna mean nothing you know what i'm saying it ain't gonna mean nothing so a lot of people are liking this build as it is at six three some people are bumping it up to six four some are bumping it up to six five but six five takes away from the ball handling so a lot of people are keeping a six three um people are going down in weight just because they want to be faster and the wingspan a lot of people are keeping it around 78.6 okay now remember this build is going to have to go to 99 in order to do the speed boosting of course um, some people say, oh, you can make it 83 minimum wingspan. You get an 87 three, what you're driving dunk goes down. Okay. Um, some people will max out the wingspan because they want to be more of a defensive player. This bill wasn't built for defense at all. So why are we going with max wingspan? Go ahead and minimize that joint. Now check it. You will have a 72 dunk overall. Um, you can figure out if you want to go with more shooting more slashing more whatever the case may be but this build right here is crazy all right now you can pick whatever takeover you want a lot of people choose spot up mainly because they want to be able to say okay i can shoot with this build people that make this build will not use a slashing takeover some people can use the playmaking because remember you have 16 playmaking badges so if you get a couple alley-oops or passes and stuff like that you'll get your um your takeover now I would choose the shooting takeover for this build mainly because if you if you look back at it guys look if you make them six three or even six four right the ball handle is going to go down tremendously if you put them at six four so if you put them at six four and then you bring everything down his ball handle only goes to 81. you want to have that chance to speed boost everybody does all right so that's why you'll make it 83 then 96 97 98 you'll be able to speed boost at 98 you'll be able to have a 93 point shot and of course your driving dunk won't be that great but at least you'll be able to finish at the rim all right um like i said spot up shooter and this is the build that we have created the scoring machine is back people remember i revealed my favorite build in nba 2k20 late in the year I am here to say that this build is an offensive threat. Get it? A little pun there. Call the OTs last year for talking stuff about my scoring machine. Welcome to the scoring machine, bro. You you built after the Kyrie Young, um, Irving, Trey Young. You know what I'm saying? This build is crazy. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the uh, badges and everything like that. Um, like I said, 99 overall. You see what type of time you want. You know what I mean? Like I said, your defensive liability. You ain't here to play defense. You're here to get a bucket. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't here to get a bucket, go ahead and just leave the video now, bro, because I don't care. All right. Now, as far as badges go, you got a lot, you got a lot to work with, man. Not only that, some of these badges is, is pretty weird because you can't get Hall of Fame finishing, right? 
And the reason that you can't get Hall of Fame finishing is because the slashing and the shooting pie are not even. The only time that you can get two sets of Hall of Fame badges for your build is when the pie that it uh, has two par two portions of it are even in itself. Okay. So you can still you can still go crazy though, man. You can still go contact finisher. Uh, you can still go slithery. Some people will go acrobat. Some people definitely will go consistent finisher, and um, some people will probably go giant slayer for sure. Yeah, we go giant slayer, and that look at all these badges, bro. That's seven gold badges off the rip. I'm talking about off the rip. Like once you're done this build, you got seven gold badges. Shooting. The fact that you don't even have quick draw anymore you can really play with all of this and these badges is on hall of fame look at this bro this is cr this is crazy all right now difficult shots can't go to hall of fame so i'm guessing 2k decided that this was a badge that you couldn't put on hall of fame because it was too cheese all right so there there's probably something there all right now look at all these badges bro literally six hall of fame badges one gold badge all right that's 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 miraculous now if you're somebody that dribbles a lot yo you can easily come in here and go crazy look these are all the badges you need right here boom then you might need like unpluckable uh bailout and let's go with let's just put ankle breaker on just because we don't know if 2k fixed ankle breaker all right because this is a new game we don't know. We don't know if that ankle breaker was one of the badges that they tweaked, but four gold badges, one silver badge and two bronze badges. Now, funny thing, a lot of people don't play with unpluckable. A lot of people play with bailout, but a lot of people don't play with unpluckable. So if you want to be a dribbler, you know what I'm saying? That can, that can create space and get your own type of bucket. I will put ankle breaker on gold and just forget unpluckable because we don't know if that badge even works. You know what I mean? So do that. And then you want defensive badge. I'm going to be honest, man. Clamps can't help you. Intimidator can't help you. Pick Dodger can't help you. Rim Protector can't help you. Like, it, none of these badges are going to help you. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be a liability. But I will put Intimidator on bronze, okay? Now, that right there, that's the build. Jump shot, everybody know, man. Steph Curry jump shot is like one of the best jump shots, okay? But yeah, just a, just a recap, man. Seven gold, you know what I'm saying? Six Hall of Fame, one gold. Five gold, one bronze. And just that one lonely bronze badge, man. But yeah, that's, that's it right there, man. That right there is the scoring machine in a nutshell. I advise you, if you want to have fun at the park or even in the wreck and i'm not talking about those defensive demons see my last video about the two-way slash and playmaker that's a defensive rep building build okay so when i talk about two-way builds and builds that have high playmaking and stuff like that i'm talking about hall of fame playmaking badges that's because rep grinders people that grind for rep people that grind for overalls people that grind for legend need playmaking they need to throw alley-oops throw flashy passes that's just the way that they're built okay and that's what they need so if that's you go with a two-way build or a, or a all playmaking pie and figure things out but if you just want to have fun with being able to shoot being able to dribble being able to slash this is the build for you i want to thank you guys for watching this video make sure you guys hit that like button i will see y'all in the next video peace